Hi everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here with one of two performance analysis videos for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. What we're looking at here are frame rate metrics from the game's engine driven cutscenes, while elsewhere on the channel you'll find a more detailed video covering in game performance. But cinematic analysis can be interesting. Firstly, it's clear that Ubisoft increases its GPU budgets here and is happier to put the engine under more load than it is during gameplay. In effect, the cutscenes work as a stress test of sorts. And secondly, engine driven cinematics like this are the absolute closest we'll get to seeing both consoles running the exact same rendering workloads. And they are the same, bearing in mind that both games operate at 900p resolution. So what do we see here? First of all, what's clear is that we are witnessing a much more stable experience than last year's AC Unity. Frame rates are much more likely to stick at the target 30fps frame rate, whereas Syndicate's predecessor could run for entire stretches without meeting its performance target. What's also clear is that PlayStation 4 takes point from a performance standpoint, adhering to the 30fps target much more consistently. That's not to say it doesn't drop frames, but where PS4 drops, Xbox One drops harder. It's an interesting initial assessment of the new Assassin's Creed, and it's fair to say that the cinematics are much more of a burden on the graphics hardware than the actual gameplay, as you'll see in our companion video. Anyway, we'll leave you with more analysis to pour over, but in the meantime give us a thumbs up if you found the video useful, and subscribe for more Digital Foundry PC and console tech analysis. We're coming up to the busiest time in the year for both games and hardware, and we wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for watching! There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you... <clears throat> Confound this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood! I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot! Ta-ta! What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. It appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. Caleb is dead! Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters! You now have the chance to join our ranks! We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats.